Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon tank and I've had a sick gourami in this tank for a while. My snakeskin gourami's had a swim bladder issue and I recently ordered some clove oil and it arrived in the mail this morning so I was able to, um, well I'm in the process right now of euthanizing my snakeskin gourami. It's not going as I expected it to go and so we're going to have a little chat about euthanizing your fish with clove oil which is what I'm doing so the first thing I did when I got the clove oil was I started looking online for some instructions on how to do it make sure I was doing the proper dosages and everything wanted to do it effectively and not make the fish suffer any worse than it already is so the first thing I came across was a website that was the RSPCA from Australia interestingly enough and it gave me some really bad information first of all it told me that I should mix 400 milligrams of the clove oil per liter of water so that's wrong like every way you slice it for one it should be measured in milliliters not milligrams I have no idea why they measured the mass rather than the volume so that could have been just a typo even if they'd meant to put 400 milliliters 400 milliliters per liter is a huge amount I mean it's like an ounce and a, it's like one and a half fluid ounces per liter of water I, that, that's ridiculous so I started looking around some other places and everywhere else I looked I found more reasonable numbers that were in the you know three or four drops per gallon of water to get the process started kind of range so that's what I did I got my bucket out I filled it with about two gallons of water, enough for the grommy to be in there comfortably. And I put about six to eight drops of water in there and got that all stirred up and mixed in. Went ahead and put the grommy in it. Now what is supposed to happen is the grommy is supposed to drift gently off to sleep. And then after a few minutes I can put a few more drops in and then a few more drops. And after about ten minutes or so the grommy will peacefully be off in la la land and we won't have to worry about any more grommy. Well, after about 10 minutes, the grommy's still in there swimming around, and so what you're supposed to do is add the oil to some warm water and mix it until it's fully emulsified, meaning the, the water and, and oil is fully mixed up, so the, the oil's not floating on the surface anymore. And then, every few minutes, you add a little of that to the bucket water. Well, that's what I've been doing, and every time I add it, the fish freaks out so I don't know why but every time I pour a little more of the water into the bucket the fish freaks out it doesn't just come up to the surface to get air but it's in there thrashing around like trying to jump out of the bucket and it's been a really unpleasant experience so far but now we're to the point where the fish is no longer trying to thrash around it's just sort of lying in a half curled slump at the bottom of the bucket and it's just sort of twitching periodically so I'm gonna put you on pause here for a moment and we're gonna go over and have a look it's been about five minutes since the last time I had a look and we're gonna go over and add a little more water and see if he's still over there twitching or not so hang on half a second And it looks like the twitching has stopped, but I don't know whether or not life activity has stopped. So I'm not going to mess with him or do anything, but it is time to add a little more of the water and oil solution. So this is what I bought. I got it. This was Amazon's choice. I'll go ahead and put a link below. Um, it's 100% pure clove oil. It's pretty much everything that was suggested that I purchase. So I'm not doing anything unusual. I didn't buy, you know, clove scented shampoo or something. It's 100% clove oil. And then this is just an empty container. I've got some warm water that I've mixed the oil with. You can see how it sort of seems a little cloudy. That's because it's mixed with the oil. So let's go ahead and pour a little more in and see if we don't get another reaction from the fish. I'm even trying to pour it in gently and not directly on the fish. So the last two or three times I've done that 
It is caused within a few moments of being in the water, the fish will start twitching and moving and thrashing around. And the last time I did it, it pretty much twitched and moved and thrashed until it slowed, until it was just on this sort of slow kind of twitching process on the bottom. And now it doesn't even look like we're getting any of the slow twitching process. So I don't know if he's fully gone or not but he's definitely gone enough that he's no longer reacting and we can safely say that he's peacefully sleeping and I'm just going to go ahead and continue this process for another you know at least until I'm finished with this and then we'll leave him in there for a little while longer and I'm not going to continue the video any further we don't need to you know drag the process in any longer than it's already been but the deed is done and apparently this clove oil did the trick. It did not do it as smoothly and easily as I would have liked. But it did seem to do the job. So there you go. No more snakeskin garami. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope that was uh, instrumental or instructional or something to somebody. And was helpful in some way because it wasn't very much fun for me. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.